welcome you to this varsity girls basketball game featuring the ALA Lady Eagles. as Jessica takes a shot there. Just comes off, but she's fighting for it. She's got it balled back. Passes off the leg of the Manti player. As I was about to say, the ALA Eagles versus the Manti Templars. Lexi takes a deep shot just off the rim. Jessica came down with it, but then lost it. Quickly the other way. Number 10 tries, I don't know what she tried. <laughs> didn't look like a pass, but it didn't look like a shot. So ALA goes the other way, a nice screen set there. Pass over to Lexi, fakes and drives, passes in, passes back out. Good save there. Pass to Jessica, back to Lexi. And that pass went off the belly of the Manti player. We got a jump ball. This game is being played at ALA. Shot up off the rim, off of Jessica's fingers. Rebound eventually to Manti. Inside number 21, shots off the mark. Lexi fights for the rebound and quickly the other way. Oh, off her foot. She had the angle and just barely caught the side of her foot, kind of as she was being bumped. This game is being played on Thursday, January 29th. And she's bumped out of bounds. Referee Polson calls the foul. I believe that was on Lexi. So the score right now is uh, Manti 2, ALA 0. And uh, ALA just picked up their first team foul. Number 10 is a quick little player. She takes a shot and they do call a block on the foul. I didn't think she had anywhere to go. So are they going to call it on the shot? Yep. So she goes to the line to shoot too. Boy, she forced that. I'd have to see a replay, but I don't know that she had anywhere to go with it. However, she gets the first point. She's shooting two. Score right now, three to zero. Six minutes, seven seconds left in this first quarter. Second shot up and short. We got a tall player there that gets the rebound. Fights for it again. Manti comes up with it again. Looks to me like number 20, their tall player, is being told that should be off the fingers of Jessica. That was good defense there. Anyway, it looks to me like number 20 for Manti is being told when you get the ball, just turn to the hoop and try to shoot it off the backboard. We'll see if that's her strategy all night. Oh, really good defense again, and where are they going to call that? technical mishap here. That ball goes out of bounds to ALA. My microphone tried to fall down into the stands below me. Good hustle play there by Manti, but I think I called it wrong earlier.
anti-dribbling all the way. There's a charge. And they call it a charge. Good position defense there by ALA. Waiting for the referee to make sure they got the call right. Score still three to zero. That could be a jump ball. It is. Good play there by Aubrey. Ties up the ball quickly, but it does go back to Manti. equipment malfunction and I'll be able to concentrate on the game now. Manti to pass the ball in. Four minutes and 53 seconds left in this first quarter. Score is still three to zero. Two team fouls on ALA, one on Manti. Shot quickly up. Oh, that actually had a chance. That's a design play that Manti has. Lexi comes down quickly the other way. She is looking to drive. Jessica puts it up and just off, just off the mark. Good plan, though. I'd like to see Jessica do that all night. Kick out. No call. That, that shot was probably actually a foul. Out of bounds to ALA. Selena to pass the ball in and uh, Manti is showing a press again. Lexi feels pretty confident and just tells her teammates to go down the court and she'll bring it down. Pass into Taps, thinks about doing a back door to Selena, doesn't. Now it turns in. Audrey shoots the ball. And Jessica gets the rebound, count it with the hoop and the harm going to the line to shoot one. So the Eagles finally on the board with three minutes and 55 seconds left in this first quarter. They score two to three, chance to tie it up. Shot's a little low, it goes in anyway. Gets the shooter's roll and the score is tied three to three. And I'm not sure who took the timeout, but we do have a timeout. It's a 30 second timeout. We've got Coach Laura Nichols down there and Coach Tim Turpin talking with their team. It's good to see the Lady Eagles fighting in this one. If you just joined us, this is at ALA. It's versus the Manti Templars. And it's on a Thursday night, January 29th. We have some interesting cheerleaders down here. Maybe I'll give you a shot of it real quick. Man tied inbound the ball. This is kind of fun to see ALA showing the press. I'm not sure how often they've done that. Number 10 once again wants to take it all the way in. This time she scores. Bad camera work, sorry about that. She hasn't seen that's a foul and it's not called. Oh, good play by Lexi to get out of that. Open shot, it won't drop. Number 20 comes down with rebound. I think she has a slight height advantage. Again, number 10 is gonna go coast to coast. That one blocked. 
14 goes up, and now a foul is called. So she'll be shooting two. Coach Laura Nichols talking to the ref a little bit there. So now we have three team fouls as the first shot is up. Three team fouls on ALA, and the first shot is no good. I do not have Manti's roster, I apologize, I'll just be calling the number. Number 14, nothing but net on the second shot. So they now have a six to three lead over ALA. Lexi breaks the, the press, there's someone open, and the shot is up and good. Nicely done. That is textbook on breaking the press. We'll give that the play of the game so far. Brings the score to five to six. ALA down one point. Unfortunately, Selena is called for that reach-in foul, but that's actually pretty good defense. Have a substitution. They want to take Selena out. This may be her second foul. I'm pretty sure it is. Coach wants to rest her a little bit. Brings in Lindsay Roberts. Lexi trying to guard the pass in. Guarded there by Taps. Taps thinks about going for the steal. Number 10 breaks it, gets a good shot off, but it's way short. And Lindsay comes down with the ball and is fouled. And uh, it's a good foul there on number 20. We frankly probably want to see her get a few more fouls where she's going to have some presence in the key. And just as I thought, coach wants to sit her out and not get too many fouls on her. So number 24 comes in to give number 20, their tallest player, a break. Lexi passes it in to Audrey. Triple teamed. Keep passing, just keep passing. They get across the timeline easily enough. Taps thinks about it. Over to Audrey, who almost lost it. Lexi says, let me have that ball. So she's uh, calling it. I, she must be their point guard. She's driving all the way in. She tries to take a shot. No foul called, and there's definitely some contact. Number 10 quickly takes a shot, and it was good. Starting to get the lay of the land here. Number 10's a good player for sure, a point guard that can shoot, can drive fast, nothing called. Everyone's chasing her, including number 10. <laughs> so you gotta guard number 10, you gotta watch her on defense. Audrey looking for uh, what play to call from the coach. Loses her dribble. Passes a little bit dangerously over to Taps, who's guarded there, and Lexi with the ball now. Back over to Taps, who almost loses it. That's a dangerous pass too. Lexi takes it in, nowhere to go. And Manti comes up with it. If Lexi can find who to pass to once she draws a couple of defenders on that dribble drive, they can probably find someone open to get a free shot off. Pass inside, blocked. Jessica dominating presence in the key. Pass to Taps, pass to Jessica, turn and shoot, foul. Personally, I believe good things happen when you pass it into Jessica down low. If she turns and shoots, she's either gonna make it or she's gonna get fouled. And if she makes them from the free throw line, that's good. And if she doesn't, it's still good because the other team's gonna get some team fouls on them. It's tied right now at four team fouls apiece. That shot off the mark. Score now eight to five for Manti. 42 seconds left in this first quarter. Just gonna shoot her second shot. I guess they're substituting first. So they sit number 10, bring in number 11. 
they could be twins as far as I can tell. Second shot is up and good. Score now six to eight. Manti with a two point lead. They meet her at the half court line and uh, she passes out. Drives all the way, shot is up, off the mark. Once again, Jessica gets a rebound. I expect her to have a double-double tonight, at the very least. Pass in to Jessica, goes up, and good! We found the money play. Score is tied, 19 seconds left. Eight to eight, shooting one. Gives the uh, Eagles a chance here to take the lead for the first time, I think. A little hard with the, get the rebound. How are they gonna call that one? Hmm. I thought she kinda got a little help losing that ball out of bounds, but referee gives it back to Manti. And Stacy Polson is a fine referee. I have to say that, she's a neighbor. Oh, almost picked off there. Lexi had a shot at it. Drives all the way in, that should be a charge. And they're gonna call a block. So one of the oldest myths in basketball is if you're moving on defense, it's a blocking foul. That's actually not true. If you're moving toward the player, it's a blocking foul. It looked to me like she jumped straight up. Nonetheless, she'll be shooting two. First one's good. Good looking free throw. I'm not sure if they've got the score right. They've got the score at eight to eight. Okay, there it goes. All right, so Manti is nine. One point lead with six seconds left. Quick rebound here, never mind. Okay, five seconds to shoot. And I don't think they even get a shot off. We'll get a shot of the scoreboard. Score 10 to 8 at the end of the first period. We begin the second quarter or second period, depending on how I like to call it. ALA with the ball. Audrey dribbles around, tries to dish into Jessica, who takes one dribble, shoots it just slightly off the mark. But Lindsay gets a shot, and I mean, there's the rebound. Jessica gets the rebound. That time she's fouled. Good things happening when Jessica gets the ball. Foul on number 21. Foul on number 21. Manti takes the lead in team fouls now, and ALA will be in the bonus the rest of this half. Jessica gets the first shot off, and it's good. And by the way, I thought it was a good idea when uh, Selena took the three pointer three-point attempt that is. Second shot up and good. Tie score 10 to 10. Good game here tonight with ALA and Manti. Number 10 just likes to sprint. Gets the shot off, it's way short. Ball fought for, stays with Manti. I like the hustle ALA is showing. They're scrappy tonight. Manti passes it into 21, to number 10, to 11. 11 gets a three-point attempt off, off the back of the rim, good try. Ball out of bounds to ALA. Number 10, I guess, wasn't sure because she didn't even really try to save it. So Selena to pass it in. Jessica with the ball. Selena. Audrey, Vanessa, back to Audrey. They're just passing it around the top of the key, waiting for something to develop, I guess. That's a good pass inside. Now to Jessica, who almost, well, she does make a bad pass. And there's going to be a jump ball. Well, ALA started with it, so we'll go back to Manti, but that means we get it the next time. Seven seconds remaining in this tie ball game, in the, I mean, in the uh, first half of this tie ball game. We got a substitution. 
Lexi is coming in for Janessa. And Manti with the ball to inbound it here. And she loses control of it and steps on the line. Out of the ball. Number 10 is one of the best things about Manti and one of the worst things, in my opinion. <laughs> because she gets going so quickly, there's always a chance something's gonna go wrong, including a charge or stepping out of bounds. Jessica doesn't have a shot that time. Lexi does, though. And it goes in. Nice touch on the ball. ALA leads 12 to 10 over Manti. Manti players showing some nice crossovers. Takes it all the way. Blocked twice. Audrey comes up with it. Selena's thinking about going all the way. Pulls it back out. Oops. That was the right idea in my opinion. Number 10's not going to be even caught by, by the fastest track star on the court. <laughs> because she is the fastest. Tie game, 12 to 12, six minutes left in the first half. Lexi with the ball. Over to Audrey. Well, that's a dangerous pass. Can Lexi catch her? Yes, and blocks it, and saves it. And, oh, oh, nice try. She was just barely on the line. Really an athletic play there by Lexi. Absolutely would have been a highlight. Catches up to her, blocks it, tries to save it by throwing it off of her feet. She stepped down the line. Every now and then it gets so loud in here, I can't even hear myself. Student section really lively tonight. Manti to pass it in. They've, tried to, they've got a design play to try to, oh, good steal. Nothing called. It's just kind of a scrappy game right now. Shots up. Way long, Lexi comes down with it. Expect her to get fouled. Oh, we got a timeout called. Time so as you can see, five minutes and 31 seconds left in this first half. Scores tied 12 to 12. Team foul's pretty even as well. Manti with six. Next foul will put ALA at the line, so hopefully ALA has some good free throw shooters on the court. And again, you can hear our student section going nuts. That's Jake Staley, the student body president, leading him in a very mature kind of a cheer. Coach Nichols and Coach Turpin setting up a play here as they should get the ball right about the half court line. Of course, Manti had a chance to think about how they're going to defend it, and they don't. No press. So let's see what play develops here. Lexi with the ball. Drives in, passes over to Jessica. Almost, almost uh, traveled. Oh, I, that's pretty funny. I thought Lexi almost traveled, and then they do call a travel on Janessa. And as you heard me say, if you've ever watched uh, any games that I've had to announce, because I usually try to find another announcer. The travel is one of the favorite calls of referees in high school. If you even think about picking your foot up before you dribble, you're gonna get a travel call. She's trapped against the line. Oh, that would have been a chance to steal it. Pass out, number 24. That's only a two-pointer, but it was a good shot. Gives Manti the lead, 14 to 12. Four minutes and 50 seconds left in this first half. Audrey with the ball, passes back to Lexi. Lexi acts like she's faking a shot, no one's biting on that one. Janessa blocked out of bounds. We'll see if we have a design play for passing it in under our own hoop. Audrey to pass it in. Goes out to Lexi, who just barely saves it. Oh, now that, <laughs> I disagree with that. I think she passed it before she stepped out, but maybe these refs are as good as baseball refs. You can absolutely tell, within a, now that's a travel. 
they can tell within a fraction of a second whether the first base runner was thrown out or, or whether he got to the base in time. In that particular case, I think she got rid of the ball before she stepped out. At any rate, no real harm done because Ailey gets the ball back with four minutes and 48 seconds left. Which doesn't seem right to me because I think I just called about that time. Maybe they forgot to run the clock. What are we waiting for? Well, for a second there, I thought they were going to reset the clock or something, but they didn't. So Lexi's got the ball. Down by two points. Pass all the way over. I think Lexi should have driven in, but she pulls up. Double team there. There's an open player who gets a shot off. Nothing called. Number 14 brings the ball down quickly. Selena thinking about trying to steal it. Really good hassle there by Selena. Number 10 wants to be quick and go somewhere with it, but good defense again. Shot is up and no good. Audrey touches it, comes down with the rebound, needs to pass, there you go. Lexi with the ball, another chance to score for ALA. Shots up, it's only a two-pointer, it's rimmed out. Jessica comes down with it though, and shoots it up, and it's good. High score, 14 to 14. That's a that's a charge, and that's what's going to happen if they know how to play number 10. She just gets going too fast to, to stay in control. And if you can get in front of her and keep your position, she'll charge you all night. So that is officially 17 fouls. Um, on Manti, five on ALA. Taps bringing the ball down the court. That's dangerous. Picked off. She's gonna go all the way. No, she's not. Pass broken up. Jessica comes down with it. Really good defense again. Selena with the ball. Audrey thinks about it. Looking for the pass in. That's a good pass. Everyone thought it was going to Jessica. Instead it goes to Lindsay, who puts it up quickly, giving ALA the lead, 16 to 14. Pass back to number 25, over to 14, who drives in, throws up a prayer, they're gonna call a foul. There was contact, I just don't know whether there was position. So Lindsay Roberts picks up a foul there, and uh, Manti will be in the bonus the rest of the way this first half, which is only 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. First shot is short. Score remains 16 to 14 for ALA. Six team fouls on ALA, seven on Manti. Number 14, the shooter second. Lots of noise. It's good. One point lead for the Eagles. They've got the ball with two minutes and 45 seconds left in this first half. Audrey passes over to Selena. That's a good pass too. Lexi gets the shot off, but it's a little bit long. Ball fought for, it's gonna be called. No, it's not called. There's a good pass out. Very good play. ALA showing some real poise under pressure tonight. Manti scrapping for the ball and ALA's coming up with a lot of them. In the battle. Waiting for something to develop here. Lexi takes the three, why not? Off the mark, but the rebound goes to Taps. Who looks for Janessa, or uh, Lindsay, I mean. Lindsay got blocked, unfortunately, and that was still a good play. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Number 14 takes a screen, but it doesn't really help him much. Now 10's open all together, though. You can't let her shoot. And they do. So now it's a one point lead for Manti. Lexi with the ball. Game going back and forth. Good game. Kick there. 
Ball will be back to ALA. And Jessica comes back in. Let's see who goes out. Selena will go out. And they make Lexi go get it. <laughs> Lexi had to run all the way to the end of the court to get the ball. I think we should write the Utah High School Athletic Association and say we need to pamper our athletes a little more. Start, bad camera work. Ball knocked out of bounds by number 10. She is quick. Referee Colson to pass the ball in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lexi actually passing it in. Nice drive. Fouled. Going to the line is Taps, who split the defenders, got a shot up in traffic. Got fouled and goes to the line to shoot two. One will drop and tie the, tie the game up. If two drop, they take the lead. That's a good looking free throw. Nothing but net. Tie game, 17 to 17. One minute, 26 seconds left in this first half. Team fouls, ALA with six. Manti with eight. Possibly heading for the double bonus. Ball fought for, and you can't let her get in front of her. That's all you gotta do. Good job. Jessica comes down with it, passes quickly to Lexi. Double team, but tries to throw up a shot and is fouled. Well, since we know how the refs are gonna call the game, it's a good idea to try to drive to the hole. ALA with a chance to take the lead here, a little short. They're shooting two. And uh, ALA will end up in the double bonus. So, I'm not sure if they did shoot a one and one I don't think they did. But they'll shoot two shots every time they're fouled now. That one's going in. Oh, I was wrong. That looked awfully close. Nothing called there. So we remain with a tie, tie game at 17 apiece. And they tie up the ball. So it goes back to ALA. Minute, six seconds left in this first half. Pass into Jessica, oops, that's not gonna be good. They get it to their fastest player, and they don't call anything. That was surprising. Manti still gets another shot off. That one's off the mark. Jessica comes down with it, a rebounding machine. She only had fingernails on that and still came down with it. Very impressive. Uh, Lexi sets up a play, passes over to Audrey. That was not a good pass. Miscommunication as Lindsay came all the way through the key. 30 seconds left. Blocked. Oh, but they call it. Looked like a pretty good block to me. They were just pretty much straight up in the air and there was contact, but I don't know. Looked like it was mostly ball and mostly forced and doesn't matter, she's shooting too. 27 seconds left. First one is up. It's good. No, it's short. I'll stop calling them. It was online. Let's see if she adjusts. This will give Manti a one point lead with 27 seconds left. ALA with a chance to take the lead into halftime if, if they just play for one shot. I don't know if they will. 20 seconds left. Ball fought for, jump ball called. And unfortunately, I think the possession goes back to Manti this time. So Manti, instead, with a one point lead, will probably work the clock and try to just get one last shot off. ALA will try for a steal. They try to pressure number 14. Oh, got a hand on it. Got a hand on it again. Got another hand on it, going in. Fouled, no foul called, pass out. 
Lexi takes a shot, looks good. Well, it comes off. Oh, what a try for a putback there. And that'll be the first half. Lindsay went in for a putback that looked pretty good. At the end of the half, four score, Manti 18, ALA 17. Back to the second half of this ALA Manti Varsity Girls basketball game. ALA starts with the ball and also keeps possession of it under their own hoop. Ball passed in to Audrey. Looking to pass in to Jessica. Lexi takes a shot just off the front of the rim. Number 10 is going to run all the way in again. And that is a foul. So quick number 10 goes the line to shoot two. Score is ALA 17, Manti 18. Close game. We're playing here at ALA. First shot is good. Two point lead now for Manti. It's a Thursday night, January 29th. Second shot on its way. Rims around and out. And the ball probably goes back to Manti, unfortunately. Jessica's trying to come down with the rebound. Had a little bit of contact there and able, unable to hold on to it. So this first half not starting out all that well for ALA. The refs wait for a little child to be taken off the court. You're not allowed to have six players. Wow, that shot's wide open. We're lucky that didn't go in. Blocked. 
And they call a foul. Shooting two again. We're not getting very far. We're only 29 seconds into this second half. And we've already had two team fouls. Manti, another chance to score with the clock stopped. 19 to 17, gonna try to add to the lead here. First shot is up and good. 20 to 17. Manti feeling some team spirit here. Second shot is up and goes in. So just like that, 21 to 17, where we had a, a one point lead. I mean, uh, where Manti had a one point lead, but only a one point lead going into halftime. That ball knocked out of bounds. We're gonna give it back to ALA. Coach Nichols is not happy about something. I couldn't see what the problem was, but. Lexi to inbound it. Gets it in easily to Audrey. Thinks about taking the three, gets it over to Lexi. Lexi trying to find somewhere to go with it. Passes back to Audrey, over to Jessica, a little high, but Jessica goes in and shoots and scores. Sorry about the camera work there. Score 19 to 21, Manti still with the lead. Number 10 runs down, passes off. That was a good play. A good put back attempt and it's good. 23 to 19, Manti with a four point lead. Six minutes, 40 seconds in this third period. Passes to Lindsay who puts it up, off the mark. Manti comes down with it. They got their tallest player on the court again. Pass over to number 10 and alertly, ALA tries to defend her there. That'll be a jump. Good scrappy game. Back to Manti, substitutions for Manti and for ALA. Selena comes out and Taps comes in. Number 25, pass it in for Manti. Having a hard time. Shots up, it might have been partially blocked. It was definitely short. And Taps comes up with it, going to go coast to coast. Goes in and scores. Number 10 just decided to hold her position and not really challenge the shot. So we have a two point ball game again. 21 to 23, Manti with the lead and the ball. Number 10 is going to think about the shot, does not take it. Pretty good defense here by ALA, not giving up anything. And there's a jump ball. Jump ball. Scrappy Lexi's going to take that one every time. Second in for ALA, Casey Aston. Let's see, uh, Lindsay goes out and Casey comes in for the first time, I believe, in this ball game for ALA. As Audrey brings the ball down the court. Passes out to Lexi. Over to Audrey who has a free shot. Oh, thought that had a chance. The ball was fought for and yeah, that'll be a foul. But you know what, that's okay. Keep them honest. Give them a little trouble. It is unfortunately three team fouls, three fairly quick team fouls on ALA and none on Manti. Little lopsided in the foul category with five minutes, 16 seconds left in the third period. That ball, oh, thought she had a chance of coming down with it. That ball was uh, deflected on the pass by Lexi. 25 to pass it in again. Number 10 has it. Over to 14. Passes out to number 10. Thinks about the shot. Back out to 14. Dribbles around the top of the key, takes a screen, ball inside, no call, <laughs> right between the legs of Audrey. Now we'll have a shot, three point attempt, off the back of the rim. That ball goes in somehow. 
That one didn't look like it had a chance, and it did. Score 25 to 21, four point lead for Manti. ALA with the ball. Taps has it. Over to Audrey. Dribbles. Lexi takes a three. A little short. Casey uh, almost had it, but she steps out of bounds. Oh, I don't know what that was. Maybe she got pushed out of bounds. At any rate, ALA keeps the ball. Selena to pass it in. Selena is substituted in for, I think it was Audrey. Taps takes a shot, too hard. Jessica gets a hand on it, but it comes down to ALA. Number 10 is gonna try to drive. She shoots, blocked partially. Oh! <laughs> Jessica had a piece of it, but she came down right into her own player. Timeout is taken. Coach Nichols wants to talk about something while we've got four minutes and 11 seconds left. It is a full 60 second timeout. 25 to 21, Manti's favor. Oh, we do have a cheerleader here, a real cheerleader. Didn't see her before. That must be the locomotive cheer. Coach Laura Nichols is the head coach. She's the one you can't see. You can see Tim Turpin and uh, oh, I think her name is Ashley, the other coach there that coaches the JV and sophomore teams. ALA comes out of the break. Hopefully they know that they're really in this one. This four point ball game could easily uh, change to a tie in just a couple of possessions. Manti to pass the ball in. Free shot there. Rims around and out. <laughs> Jessica's just not having any luck on these rebounds. Lindsay comes in, Taps comes out. Once again, number 25 for Manti to pass it in. Passes under the hoop. Crazy shot or partially tipped. Number 10 with the ball, 14. Passes to number 10. Over to 21, double team, 14 drives in. Nowhere to go and there's a travel call. I like that call. I'm not a big fan of the travel call, but the defense was there, shut her down, and she took an extra step, not knowing what to do with the ball. Three minutes, 48 seconds left in this third period. Audrey with the ball for ALA. Yo yo and a back and forth between the left and right hands. Skip pass, shots up. Oh, yes. Three pointer there for Selena. First three pointer of the game, I think, for ALA. I think Manti might have had one. Not a lot of three point attempts, honestly, being taken in this game. Number 10 trying to drive all the way in again. Shots up, off the mark, comes down in the hands of the tall player, number 20, who will go to the line. So the score uh, is only a one point lead for Manti, 25 to 24. But with the clock stopped at three minutes and 12 seconds, number 20, their tallest player, gets two shots and makes the first one. You could look in free throw there. Two point lead now for Manti, 26 24. They haven't changed on the scoreboard. There it goes. Substitutions. <coughs> Taps comes back in along with Janessa. Taps may be a good rebounder. That might be why they put her down low. We know Jessica is. Ball off the mark. Jessica comes up with it, but knocked out of her hands. And uh, number 25 steps out of bound, and ALA finally kind of getting the break on that one as they've been scrapping for him underneath and they've been going out of bounds off of ALA. Selena brings the ball down the court. Three minutes left in this third period. 
Four team fouls on ALA and none on Manti. Hopefully that won't be a game changer. Jessica drives in, passes back out. Lexi drives in and does charge. Oh. They did call a blocking foul apparently. Well, we'll take one. Looked to me like uh, Lexi didn't really have anywhere to go and force the issue, but she gets rewarded. Oh, they just, uh, it was before she picked up a dribble apparently too. Okay, so referee calls it down, Ailey to pass it in. Deep three, had a chance, bounces off the rim. <laughs> they call it travel. So back to ALA. Two point game, chance to tie it up right here or even take the lead. They have a good play. That's pretty good right there. Oh, Flexi's not confident enough to take that three, but it doesn't matter. She takes the shot she is confident with and ties the game at 26 with two minutes and 30 seconds left in the third period. Number 10 is going to drive all the way in, takes a shot. Unfortunately, goes right into the hands of number 20, who puts it back in to give them a two-point lead, 28 to 26 for Manti. Lexi passes, and Selena takes a three-point. It's way short, unfortunately. It's a good shot to take, though. She was open. Janessa trying to pressure the ball a little bit there. Number 10 with the ball. That was almost a carry. Good defense by ALA. Nothing called, thank goodness. She's fouled and she goes to the ground, but she's going to pass out of it. Oh, and now what do we get? Now we got a try. I would have liked to have seen a foul call that she had the ball and gets pushed to the ground and no call was made. And then I guess that she started to, uh, you know, stand up or, or kneel, they called the travel as she passed out. At any rate, uh, let's see, uh, Taps and Janessa go out. Lindsay and Audrey come in. Manti's ball. Passes out to number 10. Quickly picked up there. Now there's a free shot, but it doesn't matter as Selena comes down with it. Go the other way. Lexi over to Audrey for a free shot. Look good. Oh, and it goes in. <laughs> she got the friendly roll. So we have a tie ball game. Minute and 20 seconds left. 28 to 28. Number 10 gets a shot off, and it's good. She is capable of shooting those nice little short jumpers. If she can uh, drive down fast enough and pull up, she's deadly as well. That's a good play. And who does it go out on? Oh, well, it's too bad. Jessica loses out of bounds. Apologize again for the camera work. So it was tied up briefly. But again, Manti takes a two-point lead, 30 to 28. One minute, three seconds left in the third period. LA showing a little pressure defense there. Manti beats the press, gets down the... Thought there was going to be a shot taken. There's a shot taken. Off the rim. Lexi comes down with it. Wants to hurry down the court. Troubled there by number 21. Takes the, Jessica takes it in. Thought for. They're going to call her out of bounds with the ball. Good sportsmanship there by ALA. 36 seconds left. Two point ball game. Janessa comes in, Selena goes out. Manti ball, again, 36 seconds left in the third period, two point ball game. Number 10 is fast, but you just gotta get in front of her. She loses it, and Janessa comes up with it. Oh, finally, Jessica comes up with it. Scrappy game. ALA right in it, maybe even winning some of the battles here. Lexi takes a shot. Boy, that looked nice. A lot of confidence there. Beats the defender, stops, pops, drops. And that's a charge. Oh my word. That is a horrible call. Number 10 is always out of control, and they called a charge. On, I mean, they 
sorry, they called a blocking foul on ALA. I can't even put it in my mouth. It tastes so terrible. Five team fouls. She just doesn't have anywhere to go when she gets going that fast, and they can't give her the benefit of losing control. But they do. And no criticism for her. I mean, she's a good player. But if you play good defense, you should be rewarded. Folks, we got a tie ball game. 30 to 30. Like I say, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is if uh, Manti is a good free throw shooting team. We begin the fourth final period, tie ball game. Manti passes it in, beats the defender. Number 25 with a nice looking shot, but it doesn't drop, and they fight for it again, and there'll be a jump ball again. This time to ALA. So a defensive stop is made, and an opportunity to score some points and take the lead. Audrey brings the ball down the court. Nice looking three-point ball there. Selena drains it, nothing but net. Audrey's pushed to the ground. Three-point lead. There's a free shot for Manti. Not dropping. Jessica, the rebounding machine, comes down with it and is hassled. Guess she's going to have to pass that out faster or hold on to it down in the body area because they're going to scrap for it. Blocked from behind. Selena doing it all. Thinking about going in, good pass there. Oh. <laughs> little bit, little bit too much energy and enthusiasm there. Good pass, good try. A little bit too much excitement. But ALA leads by three, 33 to 30 with seven minutes left in the ball game. Number 10 stops with the dribble, passes it in. Blocks, and it still goes in. There's a hand on the ball. 33 to 32. We got a close one, folks. Selena with the ball. Taps with the ball. Back to Selena. Back to Taps. Trying to find a way to get it into Jessica. Drives in. Forces something. There's nothing there. Jump ball quickly called. Jump ball. But it goes back to Manti. Casey Ashton. Casey Ashton comes in and taps goes out. Manti's ball with six minutes, 30 seconds left in the ball game. Into the hands of quick number 10. Met at a half court by Selena. Blows by her. Selena is there for the easy steal. All of a sudden she's gotten everything going. What was that? Oh, it's a timeout. Thought maybe there's a call underneath. Yeah, so if I got it right, I might not, but I thought Selena was the one that hit the three-pointer. Selena got a block on like the next possession, and now she's come up with a steal. It is a 60-second timeout. We'll just remind you of a few things here. It's uh, Manti versus ALA Varsity Girls Basketball. You're watching on a Thursday night, January 29th. ALA leads 33 to 32. And the story of this game, I hope, will not be the team fouls. Five to one in favor, of course, of Manti. So two more fouls by ALA and Manti will be able to shoot with the clock stopped the rest of the way out. The ALA Lady Eagles are coached by head coach Laura Nichols with Tim Turpin and Ashley as assistant coaches. They come back out on the floor with Casey, Jessica, Taps, Audrey, and Selena to pass the ball in. <laughs> the referees don't even wait for Manti to get set up. Oh, I thought that had a chance of another three-pointer taken there by, uh, by Selena. Manti coming the other way, however.
This is picked off by Selena again. They tried to get it in their tall player, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be the story of their offense. They try to get it in the tall number 20, who has a little bit of a height advantage. And they haven't really been using it very much. Selena shoots it over the top. Oh, thought that had a chance of going. It doesn't. The jump ball called again. Jessica's going to be in the mix on all of them. Lexi comes in, taps comes out. Selena to pass it in. Five minutes, 34 seconds left in this game. ALA leads by one, 33 to 32. Jessica goes in, gets fouled. And that has worked four out of five times tonight. So Jessica with a chance to extend the lead. Two team fouls now on the Manti, five still on ALA. First one is up, short. Hopefully she'll make an adjustment here. Teammates, give her some encouragement. Some pretty good sized players looking for the rebound from Manti. That's the up and in off the back of the rim and there's a two point lead now for ALA with five minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Number 10, their fast player with the ball. ALA needs to get a defensive stop. Wild shot taken, but unfortunately rebounded. And that's going to be tough. If you defend the shot, that leaves number 20 open for the rebound. Double teamed, passes out, and turned over. ALA's going to have to watch for that double team at the half court line, make sure there's someone open. That was kind of a wild play. So the score is 34 to 34. This has been a great game. Back and forth all night. Another crazy shot there taken. And we'll take it. Two on one, they know what to do. There it is, the pass, but not in time. That's all right, Jessica has it and puts it in. Alertly finds Jessica open as one of their taller players was guarding Selena. And we have a 36 to 34 ball game in favor of ALA. Stolen away again. Selena has three steals, oops, and a turnover. <laughs> so she has three steals in about three minutes. And that's another crazy, crazy shot, but unfortunately she's fouled this time. So it does pay off for Manti, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. And like I say, unfortunately, now uh, Manti will be in the bonus on the next foul. First shot for Manti's player, number 25, is up and good. 36-35, ALA with the lead. And there's a timeout taken. Timeout, Manti. Manti wants to take a timeout and see if they can rally the troops with four minutes and six seconds left. ALA showed some pretty good spark there and I hope they can keep up the pressure and keep pushing it in for some baskets. So Selena, in my opinion, has been the star of the fourth quarter. And uh, I think Jessica probably leads with the most points. She's gone to the free throw line four or five times. I expect her to continue going. Yeah, you probably want to see what they're doing again. The crowd's pretty energized tonight. In my opinion, this is one of the best games that ALA has played. We'll see if number 25 has a better free throw than she has a layup. That probably sounded mean, but her layups were way off the mark. And that's gonna bounce out. Jessica comes down with it. Good position. 
Lexi plays uh, or brings the ball down the court playing point guard over to Audrey. Passes all the way across to Selena, who might as well take, oh, that's way short. Good hassle there, don't foul her. And they did call a foul, huh? That's too bad. So it will be shooting one and one. Didn't seem like it was an obvious foul to me. I didn't really see a reach in. It was just sort of anywhere that she put the ball, they put their hands. But as they say, refereeing usually goes both ways, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt as their tall player shoots a one and one. And it's off. Rebound to Lexi. She's got three on two if she sees it. And loses the ball. Apparently off of her own foot. I would have liked to see her look up and see her player, see her other streaking teammate to the left, but she might have been able to take it in. Wow. Not much there, but again, shooting one and one. So that'll be eight team fouls officially on ALA, and with three minutes and 27 seconds left, it wouldn't surprise me if they pick up a couple more and put Manti in the double bonus before the game's over. Lindsay comes in, probably for rebounding. One and one, and it's off, and Jessica comes down with it. She's come down with two pretty difficult rebounds in a row now. Padding her stats. Pretty sure she has a double-double. There's a good looking shot. Oh, it just comes off and goes into the hands of Lexi. What's that call? Timeout? Probably just in time. Looked like we were gonna lose possession of it. I say we because I'm uh, at ALA, shooting mostly for ALA, but if Manti is watching this game, I apologize for being a little biased. It's a 30 second timeout, ALA leads 36 to 35. You see there though, the team fouls. And I think there's approximately 30 seconds, I mean uh, three minutes left in the game. As soon as we uh, see the scoreboard back reset, I'll let you know. Yeah, three minutes and seven seconds. ALA has a really good shot at pulling off a home victory tonight. And they just need to keep the pressure on. And they try to need to, at the same time, avoid fouling, or at least not fouling a good free throw shooter. Lexi, one of their better athletes, Passes it in to Jessica. Lexi goes in. It stays. She was double teamed. And the ball knocked out of bounds, apparently by Manti, with Selena now to, or, yeah, Selena to pass it in. Passes it deep to Lexi. Oh! Audrey ran out of position as Lexi was passing it. Coach Laura Nichols is trying to tell Lexi to settle down. Maybe that's the plan now, is to settle down a little bit on offense and just make sure they get good shots. That's a quick shot, way off the mark again. And Lexi comes down with it. Oh, she apparently dribbled it when she picked it up. And I think that's probably true. She probably did dribble it as she was trying to get control of it. I kind of felt that way, but it could have gone either way. Some refs will allow you to kind of have a dribble when the ball's loose. This one does not. Shots up. Way short. Goes out of bounds. The tall player tries to get it, but I think it bounced on the line. So there's no way to save it. And Selena gets the ball for ALA, and uh, Manti's going to press. Lexi's pretty good at dribbling out of the press. She's had a couple of unfortunate dribbles off her own foot. 
This time she gets across the half court line easily. Passes to Jessica up top, which is not very common. I don't know if that's a new play. We haven't seen Jessica come that far out. Yeah, they're they're just trying to control it. And they pass into Jessica, who gets fouled and it drops. And I'm sorry about the camera work. It's a little bit difficult to shoot and announce at the same time. And I was frankly so interested in the play that I forgot I was running the camera. So she takes kind of one large step. What do we got going here? Have we got someone with five fouls? We may have someone with five fouls. Interesting. I'll show you the scoreboard while they figure it out. Uh, 36 to 35. ALA with the lead, Jessica on the line, perhaps will extend the lead, 2 minutes 21 seconds in the game. I thought that was the third team foul, but they don't show it on Manti. Somewhat unlikely they'll get to the bonus anyway. And I'm still not sure what they're talking about. Well, we got the ball game going in finally. Jessica's first shot. Oh, that's right. So the score is 38 to 35. I think there was a, I think there was a question about whether she was fouled before the shot or so. I don't know. At any rate, it doesn't make any sense to me. 38 to 35, under two minutes to play. The Eagles in the lead. And good play there, and it goes out of bounds. Yes. Off of their tall number 20, ALA with the ball, minute and 51, they just need to control the ball here, make sure they get a good shot. Oh, they almost lose it right there, over to Selena. Passes long to Lexi, but Lexi's got it. She's kind of trapped against the corner into Jessica. Takes a couple of bounces back out. And that's smart play. Don't force anything if you don't have it. Reset. Minute 25 left. Jessica gets it. Oh, now they throw it away. That's just too bad because they burned a lot of time. But they turn it over and give Manti a chance to get back in the game. 38 to 35. Minute 15 left in the ball game. They certainly don't want a free three-pointer going up. Good defense, and a fake, and a pass, and a, I mean a shot. That ball was knocked out of, and they're gonna go, no, they gotta jump first. <laughs> Thought they were gonna pull the ball out of bounds together. Exciting game here, folks. ALA leading at home, 38 to 35 over Manti with a minute and two seconds left in the game. Manti to pass it in under their own basket. And they get the shot up and in. It's a good design play. One point ball game. The jump ball goes back to ALA. 46 seconds left. ALA leads 38 to 37. Selena to pass it in. Manti gonna show some desperation now. They're gonna wanna get another steal. LA's gotta play very alertly here, and not throw the ball away. A foul called immediately. But according to the scoreboard, that will only be the fourth team foul. So Manti has a lot of fouls to give. If they wanna stop the clock, they can. Selena to pass it in. 44 seconds left in the ball game. That's a good pass. Over to Lindsay. Back to Audrey. And there's a foul. Call it. I mean, come on, ref. <laughs> Jeez. She reaches around and wants the foul. Call it. Thank you. So they stop the clock again. Five team fouls is what they show on the scoreboard with 31 seconds left.
Score again, 38-37, one point lead. Selena's having some difficulty passing it in, passes into Lindsay. Foul there again. One more foul, they'll be shooting one and one. Interesting strategy, I, I don't know really why they, I don't know. It's only a one point ball game. Not sure why Manti would want to get all these fouls so quickly. 26 seconds left. Selena wants to pass it in to Jessica, who gets fouled. No call. Yeah, there is a call made. What? What? I guess she stepped out of bounds. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we'll just have to assume the ref was right there and saw it. Oh, there's a steal. And it's out of bounds on Manti. 13 seconds left, 38 to 37. And uh, Manti wants to take a timeout. Exciting game here as the scoreboard tells it all. 13 seconds left, 38 to 37. That's a full timeout. 18 fouls to six. So what does Manti do? Does Manti put ALA at the line? Of course they're gonna try to steal it on the inbound. As I bump the camera. They're gonna try to steal it on the inbound and if they don't, do they do a quick foul? Probably, but that does put ALA at the line. So what is ALA thinking? They gotta have it in the hands of the best free throw shooter. This is a popular cheer here. I guess it's also popular to show your abs. So back out on the court, we have Lindsay, Selena, who will be inbounding it, Lexi, Audrey, and Jessica. As I say, hopefully the best free throw shooters, hopefully the best ball handlers, hopefully the best passers. Manti, uh, Desperately needs a steal. Quick foul. And she's injured. I didn't really see what happened, but Audrey got injured going for that ball. Fortunately, Audrey saw Selena pass it over her head and went down and chased it down. At least she looks like she's injured. I don't know. 11 seconds left in the ball game. A one and one. Boy, is this a big basket here. Oh, couldn't come any closer. Oh, it goes out of bounds off the foot of Manti. Sorry for the, uh, for the shouts of surprise. But that ball had every chance of drop and didn't. Rebounded by Manti. They had a definite chance. And then it went off their foot. So now we have 18 fouls apiece. Clock stopped with 3.4 seconds. Shooting one and one. So Janessa can really help the cause of this game by sinking these two shots and especially sinking one of them. But if she doesn't, this is the biggest rebound of uh, Jessica's and uh, is that Casey or is that, yeah, that's Casey in there. No, that is, that's, I'm sorry, that's Lindsay's career. Big rebound, put back, wasn't even necessary. A foul call <laughs> with 0 0.4 seconds. All she needed to do was hold on to it, but... Boy, are these big free throws. Realistically, one shot going in puts us in overtime. Two shots wins the game for Manti. 
So who of you folks at home would want to be shooting these free throws? Lexi says, give her some more pressure, and there's the student body. They're keeping it quiet, I think, until the ball is in her hands. Then they're going to give her a lot of encouragement. So number 24 has a chance to be a hero for Mantar. What's up? That's off. That'll be the ball game. Jessica comes down with it. She's pushed out of bounds. You kind of hate to see someone lose a ball game on a free throw. But I don't think she was even trying to make it. I mean, I don't know. She just shot it so hard. I don't know if they thought they were going to come down with it and put it back up quickly for a two-pointer. Pretty good strategy if you know you're going to get a good rebound or put back, I guess. But at any rate, it comes hard off the rim and Jessica comes down with it. And again, your final score is ALA 38, Manti 37. <laughs> Not sure exactly what's going on here. But the ALA boys are really quite thrilled to see a win. ALA beats Manti at home, 38-37. Thanks for watching.